Good morning, fellow gamers. I have completed my NFL 2024 projection season uh, teams for football time. Uh, and these are compatible with every version of football time. There's a couple of free versions in here. There's also the football time versions that are in both the books or three of the books. Um, it's completely compatible, obviously, with those. Um, so after the preseason's done, after looking at rosters, um, looking at last season, current coaching staff, and what's going on, I have rated. So um, I'm going to try to play every. Um, I'm going to try to play every week, um, Saturday. Personally, I'm going to try to get the games of the schedule done before the Sunday games or Thursday night games, whatever. So here, let's take a look at. Um, again, these are based on. Uh, what the teams did last year, where, where the teams appear to be um, changed in the offseason, and new coaching staffs. This is purely subjective. This is m basically my um, opinion, observations, and predictions. So um, let's take a look at what I have here. For uh... So um, everything starts in the West and works across the country. And first, the AFC, Kansas City Chiefs, I've got as a, a B offense. Um, and I'm mostly basing this, uh, again, a, a Hall of Fame quarterback without question, solid running backs, uh, solid offensive line, obviously a Hall of Fame tight end. The receiving core, I, um, I'm still not sold on. Um, and uh, this is probably underrated, but uh, the odds that this team is not going to face the best of, the, of, of what everybody has to throw at them. And uh, this team is not going to suffer some injuries along the way. Um, I'm going with a, a, a it's going to be a B season for them. Based on last year, they would argue they were they had a, a C season and won the Super Bowl. The defense is still rock solid. There's been a couple of losses. Sneed might prove to be a, a pretty big loss for the Chiefs defense. But I think because of the pressure the Chiefs offense puts on and because the defense has nothing to lose. This defense is intact. The same coaching staff. Uh, I suspect Kansas City is going to look a lot like last year with a little better offense. And I have them at thirteen and four. <coughs> Hard to argue with the best team in football last few years. The Raiders. Uh, in my opinion, the Raiders are a talented roster. Of course, I'm a Raider fan, so bear with me here. Uh, uh, I believe they are a talented team. Uh, I'm not certain yet what type of coach the Raiders have outside of motivational. Um, uh, can he, can they make the changes at halftime in games? Can they make the X's and O's adjustments during the week to prepare? I don't know enough about Pierce's tactical abilities. Uh, I do like Pierce. I like that he's, he's uh, old school, and I like that the team wanted him. Um, generally, teams are a reflection of your head coach. Well, the Raider players wanted him and so it turns out this is the opposite their coach is a reflection of what the players want to be that could bode well for the Raiders but again t tactically don't know C offense um, this is maybe a little overrated uh, it'll depend completely on quarterback play and Gardner Minshew couldn't you know he beat out O'Connell but he didn't beat out O'Connell by much in the preseason uh, reality is, I think uh, the Raiders, this could end up, depending on how well they run the ball, they don't have Josh Jacobs anymore. I have to give them a C here because they have a solid offensive line and they are well coached, but we'll see. The defense is, I think, they're by far the best side of the ball for the Raiders. Um, they have I th arguably uh, the best pass rushing threat in all of pro football. Uh, he doesn't have to score sacks to be a constant problem for offenses, and that's Max Crosby. They have improved their secondary and linebackers immensely. They have added defensive line talent. I have them at a B here, um, and uh, I have them still at as a losing team, seven and ten. The AFC West, in my opinion, is 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 a weak division. The Broncos, although much improved, uh, they have a Hall of Fame coach, in my opinion, a guy who could be a Hall of Fame coach. And Sean Payton, I love him, Sean Payton. They did draft. I think they landed, uh, of the six quarterbacks available, they landed the perfect fit for Sean Payton in this offense. Uh, it remains to be seen if he's at his ceiling already or if he's going to grow into being a great quarterback. But right now, he's going to be a big upswing from Russell Wilson's poor, poor play. And I've got him at a C uh, because their offensive line to me is, um, is problematic uh, if there's injuries with older, a couple of older guys. They, in my opinion, they lack a tight end. 
of any value. And I think the wide receiver core uh, has to prove itself. So I've got them as a C, though, because of Sean Payton. And they are going to run the ball, and I think they have backs capable of doing that. The defense, I have zero confidence in. This is a team that's replaced a lot of pieces. It's a team that um, has improved their defensive line. Their linebacking core, I think, is basically the same. Um, they actually picked up a little speed at, at inside linebacker. Josie Jewell moved on, and he was a big detriment to them. Singleton is a tackling machine, but cannot, has no foot speed. Uh, both their inside linebackers can be completely exploited. And I think there are teams with great tight ends like the Raiders and the Chiefs that will do that. Uh, and their secondary has one superstar. The rest um, are going to have to just hold on. I have them at 6 and 11. Much improved, though, despite the record being probably worse than last year. I think this is a better roster, a better young roster, but there's too many young guys for me to think they're going to do better, right? And I, I have them here because the Raiders are actually a stronger team, the Chiefs are a stronger team, and the Chargers, I believe, are, are a better coached team. So I think that's going to affect the overall outcome for the Broncos. I have the Chargers at CC. Uh, this is a, a team that's really a um, great quarterback who has yet to really prove anything beyond some numbers. Um, new running backs, and uh, uh, most of the receiving core has been has been dissected. <clears throat> excuse me, has been revamped, but they're young guys, unproven guys again. Uh, the defense uh, has been miserable the last few years. I'm not certain if Harbaugh is going to improve that in one year. Uh, I believe running the ball will help their defense, but I still have them at 5-12. and 12. Tough division, tough conference. The Bengals and the Ravens, um, this is a tough call as to who's going to win this division, but I have them basically neck and neck. I have them both at 11-6. and six. This is a strong division. They're going to beat the hell out of each other. Uh, but I have the Bengals edging them with, let's face it, uh, a more consistent quarterback. Um, if he can stay upright, if he can stay on the field, I love the Bengals. I love Burrow. The defense has been solid, and they will be solid as long as Burrow puts pressure on opposing defenses. I have them at 11-6. Baltimore Ravens, obviously they have Lamar Jackson, who is a who is a superstar. Uh, I personally believe Lamar has yet to prove himself in the playoffs. I think at times he can be contained. Uh, let's put it this way. I think defenses can scheme Lamar Jackson into, into not being the quarterback he wants to be. And therefore, until Lamar in the playoffs makes a run and proves to everybody he can do whatever he wants well, I don't have a lot of confidence that he is a Super, a super Bowl winning quarterback. The defense is always solid. I won't give them an A here because, again, it's going to be a tough division against some tough defenses. Uh, I think the best defenses, let's put it this way, this division is probably the best defensive division in all of pro football. So I think that's going to be, it's going to play a role on these offenses, but it's also going to play a role um, containing Burroughs and uh, uh, the rest of the conference. But I've got them a, right now kind of an even Steven deal. Cleveland, man, I have no confidence in their quarterbacks, zero. Their, their running game is only going to be as good as their line. If their line's beat up and their backs can't stay healthy, uh, it's a crapshoot for this offense. I still have them as the top defense in all of football. I have an 8-9, though, because I wouldn't trust their offense, um, and especially in this division. Yeah, Pittsburgh, uh, it's a joke. Um, this was a team that hasn't had a 400-yard offensive performance. What, they've had one or two 400-yard games in three years or two years or something? And that was, that was with, right, um, how many different quarterbacks? But the, the two quarterbacks they brought bring in here, in my opinion, are they both suffer the same problems. Although one is bigger, younger, and faster, they still suffer the exact same problems. I don't care which one you plug in, they can't see. They don't see the field. They make bad decisions. They take sacks. Um, I, I have zero confidence in the quarterback situation in Pittsburgh. Um, we'll see. Uh, I've got them still as one of the better defenses in the division, but boy, there's going to be so much pressure on this defense to rescue a bad offense that I think it's going to wear on them as the year goes on. I've got them at four and thirteen. Um, I just think they're going to. This is going to be Tomlinson's, excuse me, Tomlin's worst season. It might be the season that ends Tomlin's coaching career in Pittsburgh. He's going to trust Russ Wilson, and even if he interchanges them with Justin Fields. It's going to end the same way. I feel Pittsburgh is doomed. Um, Houston, man, I loved this team last year. 
Uh, C.J. Stroud, the best rookie season of any quarterback in history. I thought he looked like a veteran. I thought he was genius. There's going to be some coming back to earth as he's not going to surprise people this year, but I still think they're that talented, they're that well coached. And C.J. Stroud, man, is he reminds me so much uh, of uh, his mentality. Uh, it, he's it, like Burrow. Burrow came in as a rookie. He was Joe Cool, and I see that in C.J. Stroud, man. They're not flustered. It's brilliant. I still have them as an A, and they because I think they've improved their running game, and I think they have confidence. Uh, I have their defense as a B because they're going to be able to <clears throat> get away with blitzing and doing things as aggressively because this offense is going to they're going to have support from the offense. I think um, so. I have them as an A B, and I have but I still have them only as ten and seven. And uh, again, the conference is tough, and this division is going to be uh, they're going to have again. I think it's a tough division because they know each other so well. So I still only have them as ten and seven. They might, um, I expect them to whoop the snot out of worse teams. I expect them, though, to struggle in with close quality teams, right? Jacksonville, you know, I don't like Lawrence. I never have liked Lawrence. He's an underachiever. He doesn't, he said it as a rookie when they drafted him. Football's not my, my life isn't football. When I draft a kid and he's going to be my franchise quarterback, I don't want to hear his first words out of his mouth at a press conference. Football isn't my life. Holy cow. Yeah, he's he's okay. They have some really good skill positions. I'm not certain uh, where they can go, but they're not bad. B, and the defense, solid. B, again, I still have them having to duke it out with a solid division. I still have them at 10-7. I think they'll be a playoff team wild card probably. The Colts, I have zero faith in this quarterback situation. I don't know why people are up on Richardson. He was a one-year wonder in college. He completed 50% of his passes in college. He couldn't stay healthy in the three or four games. They, it's it's a joke. Um, why these guys that are phenom athletic quarterbacks get so much love boggles my mind. As great as Michael Vick was, he never did shit. He never won a title. Never won a. He never met. Never got to the Super Bowl. I don't understand why athletic quarterbacks are so beloved. They are overrated. They will. They have always been overrated. D, despite a good running team, I'm not. I have no faith in this quarterback situation. Steichen, though, I think is a, is a damn good coach. C, uh, again, the defense is going to fare only as well as their offense can help them, and I think they're still an eight and nine team, though, right? I still have them. They're not going to perform great, but again, I think they're going to have the luxury of facing. All right, and the Raiders, remember, also face a second-ranked schedule. The Raiders were number two in the division last year, which means they're going to face a harder schedule. And I think the Raiders are still going to struggle with that quarterback situation. And Josh Jacobs gone. I don't know why I'm back up here. I guess I'm comparing him to the Colts. Uh, that's why I'm referring up to the Raiders. How are they? How are they better than the Raiders? Well, I think uh, you know it'll play out. We'll see. Tennessee. I just don't. I don't have much faith in the Titans uh, on offense or defense. Uh, a new a new coach. I don't think he's as good a coach. We're going to find out what he can do for these guys. Levis uh, again. Another one of these athletic quarterbacks that I, I just don't think if you don't have accuracy you're you're just not going to be a great quarterback and a lot of these guys these young guys like Richardson not accurate quarterbacks I've got him at five and twelve um, the Dolphins um, I thought that that offense was pretty prolific last year they were one of the th only three teams in the entire history to score a 70 point game they are the fast one of the fastest offenses in football they are coached a, a dynamic X's and O's, offensive genius, and they have the perfect quarterback for that system. But I think their defense is going to be a bit of a crapshoot. And uh, however, they're going to be so good on offense, uh, and I think they're going to be in a division that is uh, ripe for the picking. Uh, I have them at eleven and six. Um, we'll see, though. And I do believe if they do not get to the playoffs, if they cannot win a playoff game, if they do not win the division. I think McDaniel's uh, McDaniel might be finished in Miami, but again, uh, we'll see. The Jets, I have it BB. Um, I'm actually being generous. I don't have much faith in the Jets. Um, a 40-year-old quarterback with an Achilles injury who hasn't played well in four years with a coaching staff that is not very good, a defensive head coach who's okay but clearly can't exercise any authority over his entire... He doesn't exercise any authority on that team at all in any way. Whether it's the owner trumping him, or it's the or or it's uh, his own quarterback trumping him, I I have I don't have much faith. If the Jets don't build momentum early, 
and and build some level of belief. This is a team that I could watch crumble. That I could see their morale crumble under the weight of expectations. But I have them still a talented uh, team. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't put a lot of faith in the Jets. I have B defense solid, but again, they're going to have to carry this team in my opinion, especially if Rodgers can't stay upright. B uh, ten and seven though, not bad. Buffalo, uh, uh, Josh Allen to me is the most overrated quarterback in football. Uh, coming out of college, I said to myself, he's he's a less accurate Cam Newton. Uh, big, strong, fast, but can't really throw solid, um, uh, uh, catchable pa passes regularly. Uh, his numbers were horrible in the NFL as far as pass completions. He landed digs. Digs brought him up into the 60s. Last year, again, he fell. Uh, he was 23rd in the league in pass completion percentage with digs. Uh, the last five games, he wouldn't throw the ball two digs. It got even worse. Uh, I imagine without any receiving talent to, to, to improve Allen's, the catch radius for these receivers have to be brilliant because Allen is not an accurate quarterback. He, though, is their offense. I think they may run more, but I'm, so I'm not going to kill him, but I'm giving him a C. The defense, I think, is going to struggle. Again, we're, we're talking about a team now that's been is, is a team that is well-defined, yet their talent level has not improved, which means these other coaches have seen enough to know how to attack this defense and to handle this offense. I have them, though, at 8-9. and nine. They're still well-coached. They're still talented. But I think everyone else understands both what the Bills are trying to do on offense and clearly what the Bills try to do on defense. Good coaches will deal with this, I think. Patriots are bad. Uh, what can I say? You can't dominate for 20 years and not have to rebuild. Um, and they're now finally doing that. Whether this is the right coach for that, I don't know. But F, uh, offense is uh, miserable, in my opinion. So even if they start Drake May, I wouldn't bring him up. Um, this is a bad team. I think the defense is going to struggle. Uh, Judon's gone now. I just, I just don't see the Patriots... Uh, uh, being a very good football team. They're going to be a top three draft pick again next year, probably. 4-13. and 13. And you got to, somebody's got to be bad, right? Why shouldn't it be the Pats? Um, it's their, you know, it's their due. Uh, they were so good so long. Let's, they should, uh, uh, they should have to start fresh. San Fran, they're the, they're the, uh, they're the preseason favorite for a lot of people. They are Talented yet aging. They are well coached yet predictable at times. Um, uh, and in my opinion, they have an overrated, uh, solid system quarterback. But he's overrated. There aren't many teams in there aren't many teams in the league that would trade their starting quarterback for Purdy. I don't believe if it came right down to it. And I'll be honest, if the four, if the Forty ers had had one of twenty six different quarterbacks at the helm in the Super Bowl, I think they could win the ball game. I'm not a huge Purdy fan. Uh, but talented, uh, again, uh, one or two injuries in the 49ers are subject to be an average offense. Uh, uh, but again, we'll see. B, solid defense, again, well-coached, talented. Uh, so uh, the, the, there's no question here that they are a good football team. I have them at 11-6 and six, uh, despite um, some harsh words. I don't believe they're going to be an A offense is what I'm getting at, right? The Rams, oh, man, I love I love uh, uh, McVay. I love uh, Ga um uh, oh my God! Uh, the quarterback, shit, Stafford. Uh, I love what he does. I love how much McVay can get out of his running backs, despite his his offense not. Uh, uh, it, they are a sneaky running team and always have been. Um, I love the receivers. I love their coach. I love the quarterbacks. The perfect fit. If they can keep Stafford healthy, I think they're going to be one of the top five offenses in all of football. The defense is, I think, the question. And it's going to be a question. Biggest reason is Aaron Donald calling it a career. I think they're going to struggle here, but they'll have the offense to pull them out of any position. Uh, I really debated on whether to give the Rams this division, maybe give them the 11 and 6 mark, give San Fran that 10 and 7 mark. But I'm going to give San Fran the benefit of the doubt uh, until they show otherwise. But boy, I like the Rams. Seattle, I think, is a brand new off and a brand new defensive head coach. Uh, they don't have a lot of uh, wow talent. Uh, their quarterback situation is um, average at best, I think, in my opinion. They've got to run the ball better. I've got them as a C, not bad, but not great. And their uh, defense, again, you, you, they've they've brought over a defensive coach. 
I think the defense was already fairly sound. I think they're going to prioritize defense, much like the Raiders. This is a team like the Raiders. Yeah, the offense could have days, could have good days, bad days. It's going to be really dependent on the quality of, of the quarterback play and if they can get something out of the backs. And their defense will be sound. So I see the Seahawks a lot like the Raiders. 8-9, though, I have the Seahawks. Arizona, um, uh, I have zero faith in this franchise. I mean, Arizona, to me, is one of the worst franchises in, in football history. They are, they are, they are just poorly managed, poorly run. Uh, and what can I say? They have a quarterback who's fun and dynamic. He's a midget, and I have, very, I have little faith in short quarterbacks. Uh, he's mobile, thank God. He's got a good arm. I think he has some offensive weapons, but again, it's going to play out to a C because it's going to be completely dependent on whether that offense can execute uh, uh, against, uh, can execute and be consistent, and I'm not certain they can. The defense um, is a problem, and, and again, I'm not, um, I'm not confident at all in this organization or this football team. I've got them at six and eleven though, so not horrible, right? Detroit, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, although I really I really believe, um, uh, depending on the, whether the Packers' uh, offense is legit, that they can hold off the Packers. However, I think Detroit is, they're at ripe, right? They're at that perfect spot. This is the place that teams in history find a way to finally push through to the Super Bowl, and that offense is phenomenal, well, well coached uh, with Ben Johnson. Uh, Campbell brings them a little fire, uh, you know, uh, and... Uh, Unfortunately, I think Campbell tends to be overly emotional and makes some bad decisions at times as head coach. Their team has suffered for it. Um, but I think they're talented, and I think they're at the pinnacle here. Their defense was bad. I think it's improved a little bit. And I do tend to think the offense bells them out by score outscoring opponents. But we're going to see. I think they are improved, though. And I have an 11-6. and six. I'm not sold on the Packers' uh, defense. I think Jordan Love could be legit. We're going to find out. Uh, they do have. They've improved their backfield. They've their wide receivers are only more mature. Another year in the, under their belt. I think this offense is going to be damn uh, uh, good. And when I give them an A, it's not that they're explosive. They're consistent. So in football time, an A is going to be a team that consistently scores points, and that's why I have them as an A. D. I don't have any faith in their defense at all. Uh, they, I think they have a couple of key players, but. Um, they're in a tough division when it comes to containing offenses. So I don't think, I think that's going to be their Achilles heel. I have them at 9 and 8, though, probably a wild card. All right, where am I at? Uh, Chicago Bears. Yeah, there's a lot of juice right now. There's a lot of yay, yay. And that's because they've got a good young quarterback, a number one draft pick. On the short side, it's six, six foot, right? Um, he's athletic. Uh, if he puts too much on himself, they're going to suffer because he's going to he's going to outplay. He's going to play. He's going to push, and if he pushes too much, trying to make every play in the NFL, you're not going to get away with that for long. And I think it's going to harm them until they start to build some momentum. Not certain yet on their offensive coaching staff whether they're going to get the most out of this talent. They are a talented team. I mean, there's name recognition on paper, um, but. They got to prove it to me, right? I don't believe he's going to have a C.J. Stroud-like year, but they're damn. They finally have a, a, some hope, but I'm not even certain long term uh, he will be the franchise uh, sa savior, uh, Williams. But C, B, their defense was solid. I think it's going to stay solid. This team's going to put pressure on teams with offense, so I think that's going to help the defense. And uh, but I've got them at eight nine. Uh, they're not yet ready. And it's a tough division. Detroit and Green Bay are both, I think, playoff teams. And so you can't just assume because the Bears have landed a young quarterback that they're suddenly going to, uh, it's going to negate the quality of the opponents that they face. But I have them uh, on the brink at 8-9. and nine. Minnesota, what can I say? They've lost, in my opinion, they've lost their quarterback. Uh, they don't have, and I'm, what I mean by that is Kirk Cousins. McCartney wasn't going to be ready, and now he's out. And uh, Sam Darnold, uh, we all know what that is. Sam Darnold is Sam Darnold. He's maybe more mature. I think he learned a little bit from Kyle Shanahan and Sam Fran, but not enough. You still have to have it when the pressure is on, when the when when they're bearing down on you and you're being harassed and you're under pressure to perform. We'll see whether Sam Darnold's, you know, has it. I still have them as an average offense. See. I have them as an average defense. Uh, I have them as seven and ten, similar to the Raiders. Again, a team with some talent, but I'm not certain they have the pieces. A well, a very good head coach. I think a fantastic head coach. But again, coaches don't play 
All they can do is coach. They don't they don't play. Seven and ten. Atlanta, this is the best Atlanta football team probably since the 98 team that went to the Super Bowl as far as talent. Uh, uh, coaching staff, I think, uh, solid, but they've got to prove themselves in this situation. Two quarterbacks, Penix, of course, is a rookie. So if he was starting, I would probably have this as a C because rookie quarterbacks are rookie quarterbacks. But they have cousins. They have some great talent at the receiving core, the running back, the tight. The tight end's my favorite tight end in all of football. I only own one jersey, NFL jersey in my life and that happens to be Kyle Pitts. I actually bought the Kyle Pitts rookie jersey. Uh, I am a huge fan of Pitts and Pitts has not unfortunately had an offensive guy or a quarterback that could feature him. So Pitts might have his best season in Atlanta. I love this team. Their defense missed a, p a pass rusher last year and holy cow they've got him now um, and I think they've added a little help in the secondary. Um, I just see Atlanta is one of those teams that they're going to be in the top 10 in both, and they're going to be 12-5 and five thanks to this division and I think a weak conference. But I expect Atlanta to have maybe their best team and their best. Uh, the unknown for Atlanta is can they keep Cousins healthy? Will Cousins recover and not uh, suffer another lower leg injury? Um, he may well do that, and then we'll have to see what Penix can do as a rookie. I'm hoping they can keep him upright. And I'll be honest, their coaches have to really prove something to me um, uh, across the board. But I still have a lot of faith in them, clearly at 12-5. and five. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this is a team that um, is aging. It's a team that is, uh, um, let's face it, uh, Baker Mayfield kind of pulled them uh, through the division last year and got them into the playoffs. It stole a playoff victory last year. Uh, they're a solid football team. However, I, again, this is a team offensively. I think is going to have good days and bad days. So I've got them as they're they're you know they're, they're, there's going to be games they just don't score much. There's going to be games where they get it done. So I've got them at C. The B. I think their defense is still solid. I've got them at nine and eight, a potential wild card. The Saints. Uh, what can I say? I don't think Dennis Allen is a great head coach. I don't think uh, he helps their offense much. I think he's a really solid defensive coach. Their defense has been consistent for years. So I'm sticking with a, a, a solid defense. I got them at 8-9 and nine because they still have pieces. Um, the Saints are going to be completely dependent on whether Carr can play his best quarterback play. Uh, Carr has not been, has not been the best quarterback uh, that he could be for a few years. And um, I think this, this team's uh, going to depend on whether Carr has, again, similar to other teams, good days or bad days. But I got them at C and B, and I have them at eight and nine. So again, these these teams might end up beating each other up and swapping positions, but we'll see. Carolina is miserable. I don't know what does the owner. I think he's a horrible owner. Uh, it's just a mess, complete mess. Yet another new coach. They drafted an overrated kid from Alabama. Uh, again, undersized, underwhelming, horrible rookie season. I mean, he was everything I thought he would be. And I think that's indicative of his career will improve a little, but uh, a, a young quarterback on a bad football team is, is is horrible. And a quarterback that's overrated on a bad football team is doomed, uh, a la Zach Wilson. And Zach Wilson's not a horrible quarterback, by the way. But what I mean is a young quarterback on a bad team is just, if they don't have a great coach, and this kid's uh, already going to see a second coach, third coach, I don't know. Uh, and I think it's going to put pressure on the defense. I've got them as a C. They're a three and fourteen team. I think they're going to end up with a number one, number two draft pick when it's all said and done. This is a miserable football team. Philadelphia, I'm not. Uh, Hertz has got to prove to me uh, he's more than a one year wonder. I love his mentality. I love his uh, his maturity. I love his leadership. I'm not certain that he can be the uh, every down quarterback. I think they were at their best when they ran really well. They mixed it up. Um, but if, if it comes down that he has to put them on their back and carry them, I'm not, I'm not going to trust Hurts to be that kind of quarterback. Um, and again, they have added Barkley, but a Barkley can be injury prone, and uh, this offense doesn't, doesn't run a straight... Um, He's going to have to get those runs from the spread. He's going to have to get those runs from the pit, uh, the pistol. He's not going to get them with behind a fullback. He's not going to get them in a traditional set. So not certain how well Barkley will do in that situation. The defense, I think, has uh, been slowly de degrading, and I'm not certain they've done much to improve their defense. I have them at 9-8, and eight. and again, um, this is a, a fairly 
competitive division despite. So I think this is this is a team that's going to again reduce each other, right? Remember, I'm not making predictions that Philadelphia is, but in this division, there the this division is going to reduce their grades by having to face each other. Uh, so I've got them at nine and eight. This is going to be a, I, I have this as the, the division winner is a nine and eight team, which means the which means the next team is probably going to be nine and eight and not get the wild card due to somebody else maybe getting it. So we'll see. Dallas, um, why do I have them as a C offense? Well, I think they've lost a few things. I think there's a lot of pressure on uh, uh, this offense. I think without uh, Zach El uh, Zeke Elliott, as much as I've liked Zeke in his career, uh, he is no. Their their running game, I think, is greatly diminished, and so I've got him as a C. I think I think everybody's going to be ready for the Cowboys. Uh, C.D. Lamb, um, their tight ends okay. I think it's going to be maybe their worst offensive. Uh, performance in years. Um, B defense though, very talented, and they have uh, they have they have talent. I don't know if they have scheme. They have lost their coordinator as he's now the head coach of the Washington Commanders. I've got them at nine and eight though. These either one of these teams could win the division and push on uh, into the playoffs. Commanders, a good young rookie quarterback. Uh, I liked him probably the uh, second most coming out of college. He's tall. He's lean. He's quick. He wants to pass first, but he isn't afraid to run. Um, I think he is. It, when it's all said and done, he could have, he could be the best quarterback in this draft. The problem is he went to one of those franchises where quarterbacks go to die. So I hope Washington can build support around the kid and he could grow into one of those quarterbacks. But the, uh, they're you know good young quarterbacks have been ruined, and um, we'll see what happens in Washington. I've got him as a C. And I got them as a C. They're just average, right, across the board. They have to prove something to me. New coaching staff, a rookie quarterback, they're just going to have to prove to me that they're, you know, more than that. I have an 8-9, and though. Again, as you can see, I have this division. Basically, it's going to be, it's kind of a toss-up. Uh, Washington could end up here 9-8 and eight and win the division, and Philadelphia could end up, you know, 8-9 and, and, you know, out of the playoffs. Dallas could end up 10-7 and seven and squeaking out. So this is the, this division I have, these three basically beating the hell out of each other. Last but not least, the Giants, the miserable. Um, I don't know what to say. I got them at F. They've lost what little talent they have. They drafted a deep threat wide receiver, and they have a quarterback that can't throw deep. So good luck with that. And <laughs> I mean, it's nuts. It's it's this is the this may be the worst run franchise right now. Um, yeah, not good. And that's not that's not good for the Giants because they that's the Mara, that's the that's the Mara family, and they're generally a, a very sound at running their team, but wow, are there some problems in New York. And I think the defense is ultimately going to struggle and snap under the pressure of Philly, Dallas, and Washington, as well as uh, the NFC in general. They're going to be bad. I have them at 5-12, and 12, though, as not not, hor not horrific, but bad. Anyway, there's my chart. Again, this is, uh, these are my, this is my 2024 projection season set, so you can play the season. You can play along with the real season. Or you can play pre pre play the season if you want to or whatever. Uh, but um, I thought it would be fun to um, provide this year's teams based on you know what I looked at from last year, where they're at here, and of course my um, opinions, right? The subjective opinions, take it or leave it. Uh, this stuff's always argumentative, and uh, that's fine. So anyway, uh, feel free to get it. It's called um, uh, what is it called? Let's go back. It's called the NFL 2024 projection uh, season for any version of my football time games. All right, everybody have a great, great week. Uh, weekend? Weekend. Holy cow. All right, bye.